Happy Thanksgiving, sports fans! And what better way to get into the spirit of gratitude than to celebrate some of the best passers in the NBA right now? Not only are we going to enjoy the caring and sharing, but I'm going to break down how their x-ray vision allowed them to see the delicious food around that part of your family that always hovers around the table. So, pass the cranberry sauce, don't hoard the stuffing, and make sure I get seconds of the turkey. But don't fall asleep before getting yourself some of that sweet, sweet pumpkin pie. When that food is ready, you'll see even Grandpa run the fast break to the table, and that's where these guys excel, having to make decisions at full speed and deliver that feast on time and on target. Trey Young sat down at the table with the big boys, and a big key to making this list is throwing dimes from the backcourt. At barely 6'1", he doesn't have the height to see over people, so he tends to get close to that half-court line before uncorking some of these beauties. Notice how quickly he snaps his head down court to find open teammates, and he's pretty skinny because he's the guy who will pass the food before taking some for himself, getting it out of his hands before the defense has a chance to react. At 6'8", Luka can see over the defense a lot easier, and can vary the height of the ball a lot like soccer players do depending on the situation. The moon ball over the heads of the retreating defenders is decidedly like playing on the pitch, leaving the opposing team stuck on the couch, starving, and watch how he waits till the defender moves into the correct position to guard him on the ball before throwing this dart in stride for the easy slam. But there's nothing like a giant at the head of the table, and considering Nikola Jokic didn't play football growing up, it's amazing how well he throws that touchdown pass. And don't ignore the fact that he did this one with one hand all the way through from the rebound to the toss. Pass me another roll, please. A newcomer to the NBA arrives all the way from Argentina via Spain, where Facundo Campazzo has been dazzling the EuroLeague for a few years. At 5'10", he's sitting at the kids' table, unable to see over the trees, which is why he doesn't throw the 50-foot passes, preferring to get it into the front court fast, but watch this off-the-dribble underhand cross-court on the money, chef's kiss. He's got the audacity to thrill the crowds as well as making the right reads while sprinting. The wraparound bounce to the rim-running big man was like the surprise fruit crisp that Aunt Jenny brought over. And this pass saves time when it's one-handed off the dribble, hooking it into the narrowest window where only his teammate can catch it and finish. When the ball does get to the front court, it's Trey and Luca who have dazzled the most, looking one way while throwing dimes the other. It doesn't matter which hand they use, if it's off the dribble or a chest pass, bounce pass, quick release, they're serving their teammates the juiciest part of the turkey. Once Trey realizes Whiteside is doubling him, he quickly identifies the help defense down the left block, and the only way to get this ball there is a one-handed lefty bounce pass. Gobble, gobble. Luca instantly sees a 2-on-1 on the left side, and turning his head to Berea, lures Rozier to the wing, and this, my friends, is your favorite chenille sweater. Both these guys have mastered the no-look pass in transition, and it's the kind of thing that more of us need to work on to keep the defense off balance, like grabbing an extra brownie from the plate while pointing out the nice diorama Timmy made in class last week. Jokic and Campasso get their share of transition dimes in the front court, but they tend to be the leading bounce pass variety, which require a lot of skill, but lack the flavor we saw from Trey and Luca. All of this thankfulness has got me thinking of how we can encourage more players to pass just like these guys. It's clear that if you don't take care of your balls, the passes won't get where they're supposed to. And that's why I use Manscaped for unparalleled ball freshness that will guarantee your dimes get deposited. They've got an incredible Black Friday sale coming up, and I gotta admit, for the longest time, I just used their Lawn Mower 3.0. It's waterproof, rechargeable, and has an LED light to see the places where the sun don't shine. But recently, I've started using all their products in the performance package, and it's been a revelation. The Crop Reviver is an uplifting experience, the Weed Whacker works so well I have to hide it from the rest of my family, and you can keep your toenails in order with their luxury six-piece stainless steel nail kit. You're just in time to take advantage of all these things, plus two free gifts. 
the Shed Travel Bag, and Manscaped's anti-chafing boxer briefs. I wear them, and I have no chafe. Even better, in honor of Black Friday, go to my special link in the description and you'll save big money off your order plus free international shipping. So make me look good by clicking on that link, get a great deal, and you'll be throwing no-look passes in no time. Now, we're all familiar with sitting at that crowded table and having no room as Uncle Joe gets his elbows up and in your personal space. Well, another key to passing is being able to slip the pass through the cracks to cutters almost no one can see. This is where a lot of the creativity comes in as the initial play morphs into organic movement, no doubt inspired by how often these guys love to make the good pass to their teammates. Don't forget, the better the food, the more your guests want to eat. So you'd better make sure you get a big enough turkey and napkins. Coming around this handoff, Trey's first option is to hop into the shot. By using this footwork, it forces the big man to jump out, opening up the pocket pass for the and one. As Luca gets downhill into the lane, he quickly checks the weak side help rotation. Normally, you'd see that guy aggressively come over, but since his hands are down, Doncic taps this one-handed beauty right by Rudy's shoulder for the easy layup. With Jokic, it's remarkable how often he gets this type of assist from the post, as he simply waits for the post-entry passer to cut into the lane. The key is how well he leads Torrey Craig, putting the pass where only he can catch it for the easy finish. Campasso comes off this ball screen and his first check, like Luca, is the weak side defender. Since the strong side corner is filled, there really isn't anywhere for him to penetrate but he sees his teammate cutting behind his man along the baseline, and this pass is like the first bite into the candied yams. Each of these players has their own unique passes they love to throw the most, and that's what captures our imagination. They're not robots trained to make all the same passes. Plus, they've got different coaches who run different systems, giving them varied options to maximize the talent on the roster. In the case of Luca, his law passes are like the soft and buttery mashed potatoes only grandma knows how to make. This play from Carlisle works all the time, as the guy who hands off to Luca runs off the back screen of the free throw line, but the key is when Luca throws this pass. The ball is out of his hands before Hardaway even passes the top of the key. He can already tell, based on the position of the defenders here, that this lob is open. As a result, Hardaway doesn't have to wait at all to get right to the rim for the wide open alley oop. Facundo Campasso must have played high lie as a kid because his favorite kind of pass is thrown as if he's wearing a cesta and serving the pelota off the front on. This quick release off the dribble enables him to get the ball by his initial defender, and he has no fear of tossing this at any angle, out of any action, to any spot on the court. It's incredibly quick out of his hands, leaving his defender waving his arms as the ball has already rocketed past him into the waiting arms of a cutter for the easy shot. And he can make this pass with both hands, making it ridiculously hard on the defense to defend, since they never know when Campasso will uncork these high-speed missiles. When running a pin-down screen, the most dangerous player is always the screener, and he simply waits until the cutter brings both defenders with him to hook this pass for a beautiful assist. What separates Trey is his ability to make passes after he's already gotten up in the air. These are the kind of passes that would probably drive traditional coaches nuts. But there's nothing wrong with getting up in the air to make a pass, and Young has an especially unique talent to adjust on the fly and spot the pass on the way down, throwing them soft enough so they're catchable. This jump simulates a layup or floater, but he knows with two defenders on him that the cutter through the lane will be open. It's just a matter of how he delivers it to him, and this over-the-shoulder bent elbow flick is a masterclass. As for Nikola Jokic, He's got the knack for throwing mini lobs, not for dunks, but the kind that will go over the head of the unsuspecting defender, allowing only the receiver to get the ball for the shot. These require the right kind of timing, accuracy, and touch, and Jokic continues to thrill us like the perfectly cooked and seasoned green beans. So don't forget, this is the Thanksgiving video, where we safely sit down with our loved ones and give thanks to all the teammates we've had who were willing to give up the ball so we can eat too. If you're wondering why LeBron isn't here, he's Santa Claus, coming to the party with a huge bag of gifts slung over his shoulder. 
but that's an entirely different holiday altogether. So, savor the turkey, digest those jams, slurp that gravy, and remember that we're only a few weeks away from the season starting. Truly, a most wonderful time of the year. Oh, 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 oh,